Hey everyone, I'm Sophie, this is Sam and Taylor, and we are doing a fun flow. It's about 15 minutes, might go a little over, might be a little under, we'll see, we'll go with the flow. Um, but it's all hip vinyasa, so that's my style of working out, is like getting the most I can in a small amount of time, because I don't want to spend hours working out. I want to work efficiently, and I want to then be done. So for this, it's like, okay, I've been stuck in my head, this is gonna get me out of it, I'm gonna get into my body, I'm gonna get a little sweaty, and most importantly, get my head on straight so that I can take on the rest of my day or the rest of my week. So let's get started. You need a journal, a pen, and a yoga mat. All optional, but it's gonna only help enhance your experience. So grab your journal, and this is all about getting out of your head. So I want you to write down three things that have been repetitive in your head that you wanna let go of right now. It's not serving you, you're done thinking about it. Got three? Mm -hmm. Got three? Yeah. Okay, take it out, rip it up. Bye. This is good. Bye. This is really good. Bye, motherfucker. <laughs> Bye. Bye, bad feelings. Bye, bad thoughts. We're done, it's gone. I was gonna say, let's burn it, and I realized we get kind of dangerous. You can burn it though, that's even more powerful sometimes. So you can take the candle over to the sink and make that happen. Um, you can go outside and have more of a ritual, but ripping it up feels really good. So it's gone now, and now we're gonna move in our bodies. So come to down dog. Head on the legs out left and right. Let something go out of your head. So your head is facing the mat. Release those bad thoughts out of your head, energetically dropping them onto the mat. And now you're gonna hop up and smash those bad thoughts. So back into down dog. Let them fall out of your head. Shake your head left and right. Shake, 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 up and down. Let those bad thoughts, those repetitive thoughts, those negative thoughts pour out of your head onto the mat. Hop up, smash up. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, release. Separate your feet a lot, grab opposite elbows, bend your knees left and right, and release all of those thoughts. Anything that's not helping you be the best version of who you are. Anything that's not helping you exude love, share love, be love, experience love. Inhale, halfway. Hands plant, hop back into plank. Lift your right leg up high in a three-legged down dog. Bend your knee and rotate it in a big circle, opening up your hip. We store a lot of emotions in our hips, so we're gonna do a couple hip openers today. Good, open up that hip a little more, and then bring that knee to your opposite elbow, twisting. Bring it up behind you, straighten that leg, knee to the opposite elbow, twisting. Bring it up behind you. Last time, knee to elbow. Drop that leg straight in front of you. Lift your left arm up. Looking up to the back of your hand. Good, drop your hips down. Tap your booty on the mat, lift them up. Drop it down and up. Three more, down and up, down. And up, bring your hand down, come to three-legged down dog. Knee to your nose, bring it through in between your hands, drop your back knee. Inhale up, hands to your prayer at your heart. Twisting to the right, hook your left elbow, look up towards the sky. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Inhale. Release something, exhale. Bring your hands down, frame that front foot. Take that foot back and up, and then come to a chaturanga with that back foot lifted. So bend your elbows a lot, and then inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Three rounds of breath here. Releasing, relaxing into your body, connecting to your body, maybe for the first time today. Connecting to your breath which anchors you into this present moment. There's no time for anything else. There's no time to waste on negative patterns, on bad thoughts. You are whole, you are perfect just as you are. 
You are perfectly imperfect. Deep inhale. Stick out your tongue, lion's breath. Other side, left leg lifts. Mm, knee to nose. Inhale, lift it up. Knee to nose. Inhale, lift it up. Knee to nose. Lift it up, bend the knee. Rate, rotate the knee. Big circles in the head. What can you let go of? Lift it up. Knee to opposite elbow, twisting. Lift it up. Knee to opposite elbow. Lift it up. Twist it. Now straighten both legs, drop that leg. Lift up the right arm towards the sky. Lift up the hips a lot, a lot, a lot. Good, and drop the hips down, the booty down, and up. Four more, and up. Three, and up. Two, up. One, up, good. Hand down, left leg up behind you. Good, and then bring your knee all the way through. Drop the back knee down, inhale, arms up. Hands to your heart, twisting to the left. Feeling warm? Yes. Look up towards the sky. Inhaling, exhaling, twisting a little more towards the sky. You don't want to crank your neck, you're really twisting from your heart. Opening your heart towards the sky, towards opportunities. Hands come down, plant the hands down. Leg goes up behind you. Bend your elbows, tap your chin, inhaling all the way up. Exhale, all the way back. Look up in between your hands, hop up, and hop back. Hop up, and back. Eight more, hop up, and back. Stomping on anything you don't need. And up, and back. And up, and back. Good, keep it up. Really think about that shit that's laying at the top of your mat. What do you not need anymore? Stop up and back. Make it loud. Really jump on those bad things, those bad feelings, those things keeping you stuck. Last one. Hop up. Good. Forward fold. Separate your feet a lot. Take your elbows left and right. Drop your left hand under your face. Bend your knee, your left knee, and opening up to the right side of the room. Bending your left knee, yeah, opening up. Hand down, switch it up. Noticing how different your body feels in just a few moments of intentional movement. Hands down, take your hands behind your back. Open up the shoulders, your arms, you can have knees bent here or not. Now shake your head left and right. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in. Lines breath out. Release your hands down. Hop back into plank. Bend your elbows, come onto your belly. Hands come to the small of your back. Grab opposite fingers to before, the one that feels more unnatural and uncomfortable. And then lift everything up. Coming onto your belly, lift your toes, lift your legs, lift your arms. And up everything down. Inhale, everything up. Lift, 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 lift your arms, everything straight and strong. Inhaling. Exhale, release everything down. Continuing to breathe and release. Grab your ankles or the bottoms or the bottoms of your feet. <clears throat> Inhale, everything lifts. Lift, 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 lift. And exhale. Come to child pose, pressing up 
and back for just a moment. Connecting to your breath. Connecting to your third eye, which is on your mat. Connecting you to your truth. Feeling your heartbeat faster than it was before. Connecting to your body. When we release the things not serving us in our head, we can be more present to the moment and to our bodies. They're always communicating to us if we let them, if we listen. We can't listen when we're bombarded by thoughts that don't serve us. Keep coming back to yourself. Keep listening. One more deep breath in. Stick out your tongue. Coming up onto all fours. Make sure your joints are stacked, you're nice and safe. Take your left hand to a handshake position in front of you and your right leg behind you. Crunch everything in, elbow to knee, expand out. Everything in, expand out. Three more. Really connecting to your breath. If you're not breathing, it means you're back in your head. Watch your habits. You're in control. Good, relax on the fifth one. Good, and come into awkward airplane. So you're gonna take your left hand to the left and your right leg to the right, and then lift everything a little higher. It definitely hurts, it's definitely uncomfortable if you're doing it right. Back to center, and release. Shake your booty left and right, release that a little bit, and other side. Right arm lifts, left leg behind you, and elbow to knee, so for five. Breathing, four, crunch in. Three, two, one. Lift everything up. Awkward airplane, right arm to the right, left leg out to the left. You may, if you have someone with you, touch their booty with your knee, with your toes. Lift a little higher, and back to center. Drop everything down, rock left and right, drop your head out. And now take some organic, intuitive movement. So you're gonna close your eyes and just move from your hips. Move from that place of, place of pain, of sadness. Move from the place of power if you found it. This is where you want to feel what you should be doing, not do what you're supposed to be doing. Based on what someone else is doing or saying or thinking. This is about connecting to you. So what does your body need right now? One more minute, you're connecting to what your body needs. How does it want to move? Close your eyes and ask your body what it needs. Explore, do a little scan through your body. humble warrior. So you're going to take your right leg in front of you. It's a hip opener. I know some of you already took hip openers, but you can't get too many of these. And then you can either come here with your back knee down. You can have your back knee up and you can be on your hands. Or if you have a little more flexibility, you can come onto your elbows and you can start to let your knee open up a little bit. You don't want to go out too far, but you definitely want to get a stretch here. So you want to feel this, feel this in your hips. And breathing into your hips, into this chakra that holds so much tension, so many emotions. If you feel like you want to cry, cry. If you feel like you want to scream, scream. Do what you need. Give yourself the medicine of healing and moving through what doesn't serve you. So 
so you can get to the other side. Coming onto your hands, switching legs. Simple switch. Back knee can be down or up, depending on what you want. You always want to have the least resistance. So if you're holding your head up and you feel the tension in your neck, relax your head down on either, either a block, a towel, or your arms or the mat. And just breathing. with your greatest good. 
Back to center, coming into bridge pose. So feet are cl like close to bent under your knees. You wanna be able to touch your backs of your heels with your fingertips. And then you're gonna press up into bridge pose. You can clasp your hands under your back and lift up and out, stretching everything. Deep breath in and out. Release everything down. Take your knees left and right. Just windshield wipering your legs a little bit. Releasing the hips and all those stretches that we did. Good. Back to center. Take another bridge or come into wheel if that's what serves you today. So asking yourself, what do I actually want? Wheel can be very energizing. Whenever you're ready. Give yourself a hug. Rock back side and side. And then bring everything into a tight, tight ball. Inhale. Hold your breath at the top. Suck everything in. Clench your face. Clench your elbows. Clench your butt. Clench your thighs, your knees, your toes, your fingers. Clenching everything into one teeny tiny ball. And then exhale, release it all into Shavasana. Final resting pose. Welcome back to your body. Welcome back to your spirit. Welcome home. Allow the breath to just relax. Allow your body to feel the support of the earth underneath it. That earth, which is a constant, it is always there to support you. Releasing anything out through the bottom of your head, through the top of your head, through any pores of your body that need to release. Completely surrender. Stay here for as long as you like. 